My name is Petri Alava and I'm the CEO and founder of the Infinity Fiber Company. We have uh, chemical process technology which can produce uh, new affordable cellulosic fibers, textile fibers out of the waste materials. Uh, what we unique, we can make it from, from the post-consumer textile waste, mixed post-consumer textile waste, as well as cardboard waste. There seems to be a, a interesting, very interesting challenge in this industry, in the fashion industry. Uh, first, the industry has been identifying that there's a lack of cotton. There's simply not enough cotton available to meet the global demand. Uh, secondly, yes, there are industrial processes where you can manufacture uh, cellulosic fibers, but there are great um, ecological um, challenges related with those manufacturing technologies. The challenges, for example, carbon disulfide as a chemical. Due to that, you can't anymore get new environmental permits in Europe to open new plants. There's actually only two remaining, one in the US. In China, even, there are great problems to, to run those, those uh, factories. And yes, the third one is that people are different. People are really now appreciating uh, sustainable solutions. They even prepared to pay for it. If you look at the landfills, globally, 30% of the landfilled items are actually textiles, uh, paper waste, cardboard waste, exactly the materials what we can use as, as a resource for, for, the, for the manufacturing of brand new fibers. So we are not recycling, we are regenerating a new fiber out of that. As a matter of fact, this is a large-scale industrial process, so um, definitely we, we need and want to get in, in more and more industrial manufacturers to, to scale it up, to roll it out to the market, to make the true impact. Say 2040, if 10% of the world's cellulosic fibers would be made without technology, uh, that would save 6.5 billion liters of oil annually and 65 billion liters of water. Massive figures, long time in the future. With our first plant, which we are, are opening or planning to open, commercial scale plant, that would save 2020 when it's in, in full use, that would save 27 million liters of oil and 270 million liters of fresh water. So I, I believe that the big vision is doable. A lot, lot to be happened, but it is doable.